Hey everybody, it's Eric from CSC Filters again. Got a question off the YouTube of the flow rate and the uh, canister as it is in use. So I want to take a minute to show you what it's taking care of, which are 300 gallon salt water here. Uh, water's been very clear. We have the canister in conjunction with a 55 watt UV sterilizer and has made all the difference in my opinion as far as water clarity. Uh, you can also see we're testing a couple different lights. We have the standard T5s over here which do okay, a little bit bland, but then we just installed the Aqua Illumination Vega series, the colors. Um, very nice. It really makes the colors pop and shine, the shimmer. Very nice. So we're eventually going to do the whole whole tank in those guys. But uh, here's what it's taking care of. I'll show you what's going on underneath here. So here's the filter as it's running. The top is the input, side is the output. I put it in a bucket just in case a leak does happen because it's sitting over my floor and I've been yelled at enough about leaking on the floor. So it's sitting in the corner here and I do have a water monitor down there that'll start hollering if water gets in there. The flow I have is a uh, MagDrive 1200, this guy right there. Back drive 12 comes up through a uh, T adapter, a Y split there. This half goes over to the filter with those lines. The other half of that T comes up and runs through our UV sterilizer. Both of these are powered off one Mag Drive 1200. Here's the flow coming out of the UV sterilizer. And the other side is this guy coming out of the, the filter. So pretty decent flow. Um, some might say it's a little bit fast, but in my results, I'm quite happy with, with how it's doing. So I think the uh, Mac Drive 1200 running both of these units is working quite well. So there you go. You can kind of see the, the flow here. I've got the water level a little bit low to show it. There's the two outlets from each unit. We'll get some plans up here. We've been requested for that as well. We'll do them on a, a CAD drawing so they're nice and easy to use. But there's the tank it's taken care of. Uh, no problems with it so far. Definitely make sure that you have a filter, a pre-filter before you put it in front of the uh, CAC filter or you might clog it up. Definitely do a pre-filter on it. It'll make, make the cleaning of it much easier. It'll make it last a lot longer as far as having to clean it out. So there you go. Any questions, let us know, and we'll do our best to answer. Thank you.